How we doing, folks? Let's wait for this, some peoples to start trickling in. Spontaneous, spontaneous live. If there were ever a spontaneous live, this would be the one right here. And although I'd love to take my time getting into uh, the topic of the day here, I know there's a lot of people probably joining us who are not subscribed because of the heading of this video. So I'm going to jump right into it. Um, I thought it was really necessary to film this, uh, go live on this video because of some recent updates with Yankee Candle 2017 Halloween products. Hello, hello, how we all doing? All right, see, we're, we're all trickling in now. Good, good. Um, so as you guys know, I have worked my butt off this season to try to get all of Yankee Candle's Halloween products as soon as I could, long before they're officially released, so that you guys could, um, uh, you know, have up-to-date information, know what's going around. Uh, I did list them as spoiler alerts, and I'm not big into spoilers, but I felt like it was an obligation that I had for you guys to show you and do some of my own investigation. And uh, at this point, again, if, if this is redundant to the point where you want to kick me, I apologize, but I just want to inform some uh, folks who may be showing up for the first time. Uh, there's a trio that we're expecting this year. These are not released. They are going to be available for purchase at Yankee Candle Retail on Saturday, August 26, 2017. Uh, we have the Forbidden Apple, which was re-released last year. Uh, the classic uh, Witch's Brew, and the brand new fragrance Haunted Hollow. If anyone could tell me, give me give me some feedback on the audio. I have the AC on. Is it too loud? I can turn that off. Um, now uh, these are going to be uh, soy candles, soy blends, whatever you want to call them. Uh, colored wax. Uh, that one's not colored; it's black. But you can see they're all different colors. And then uh, we also have, if you're like me, you're into the house warmer jars. Now don't be fooled, this is uh, the European label, the UK label, whatever we want to call it, if you check out that font. But this is exactly the same look that we're seeing in the US as well. And a little birdie, a little birdie, a little birdie. I can't confirm this, not even a little bit, but somebody told me that uh, the UK, Europe may be getting those, those that trio, that tumbler set, or at least Haunted Hollow. So that, that's good news because so far I haven't heard anything about that. Uh, so this comes in the Forbidden Apple, this comes in the Witch's Brew, but it does not come in the Haunted Hollow, does not. Now if you saw my last uh, Halloween update video, uh, I briefly discussed about how there were rumors that swirl candles were going away. Meaning, you know, like uh, trick or treat every Halloween or, uh, you know, Mrs. Claus cookies. All of those swirl candles were, I might as well just show you. Here, here was one last year, right? Toxic Tonic, which was forbidden apple and spiced pumpkin. Now I heard that these were going away because um, these are, have to be, at least to a certain point, hand poured. You know, it takes much more, I guess, manpower to actually make these. Uh, so I was not expecting to see this come back, but I'm about to unveil something. So something brand new for 2017. This is a brand new product. This is from last year. It looks very similar. But this is re the reason really why I wanted to go live today. Check this out. So it looks like the Toxic Tonic that we saw last year, but it, uh, it is not. Not only does it not have a title, you can see it just says Swirl Candle right there. And I do apologize for the out of focus. 
uh, but it's going to be Forbidden Apple and Sweet Seduction. You got your moonbeams on pumpkins. Good for you. Good for you. Um, and uh, yeah, so a, a different, a different, a, a different fragrance. No spice pumpkin. Sweet Seduction. No, but what is Sweet Seduction? If you guys only knew how much time, effort, research, traveling, phone calls, emails I put into trying to get my hands on this candle, I had one. I had one. It was about seven hours away, and it slipped between my fingers. It was, um, uh, you know, I just I, I made a stupid mistake, and I could have I, I could have had it. I made a mistake, and it, like I said, it slipped between my fingers. But sweet seduction is in this candle. So what I'm going to do is, the reason why everything is lit, you can see everything, I'm overexposed right now because I have all the cameras set up. I'm about to film a third update video. Hi Lisa, how we doing? Um, and uh, I'm going to do, I'm gonna figure out what this Sweet Seduction is all about. Cause Sweet Seduction is gonna come in uh, a 22 ounce house warmer, large jar. I, think, I believe that's the only format. There may be tarts or votives. Unsure about that yet. But if you if you from, familiar with what the Sweet Duck Seduction label looks like, it'll be in my next video. It has a candy corn concept. But you know, I just I haven't had a chance to smell it, so I cannot confirm it. But it's inside of this jar. So the video that I am going to film today, not right now. This is kind of just giving you guys a heads up. I'm gonna take five grams out of uh, this jar, the Sweet Seduction. I'm gonna pop it into this mason jar. A lot of you may know uh, where I'm going with this already. This is something I call the Aroma Prison. I put five grams inside of this mason jar. I throw this into a, a pot of uh, very hot water, not boiling, but very hot water, allowing all of the wax to melt, just like it would with a tart warmer. And what that does is it, all of the vapors, all of the fragrance oils start to fill up the negative space in the jar. This way I can contain the fragrance inside this mason jar instead of filling up my entire room or living space or apartment. Like, because what will happen is after a couple seconds you become desensitized to it. So this way, just like with a glass of wine, you can isolate it to the jar. So I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, what Sweet Seduction is all about. So take, take a look at that label once again. Uh, forbidden Apple Sweet Seduction Swirl Candle. So does this mean that, does this mean that uh, Trick or Treat will be back? I don't know, I don't know. I have not seen anything and uh, that suggests that if you're not sure what uh, Trick or Treat is, Trick or Treat was candy corn, which is now retired, and uh, buttercream. It was a swirl candle. In fact, I think a lot of folks liked this better than the straight up candy corn candle, right? So, there's something else. There's something else. And I'm speaking like a madman super fast because I do want to keep this on the shorter side, this live stream. But I will answer some questions once we get through all these. There's another new candle. It's not a new fragrance, but it's a new candle. And I think we probably all saw this coming. This is one of those beautiful uh, layered candles. This is going to be, how many ounces is this? It's 12.5 ounces, three layers, three fragrances. And I know it's out of focus, but let me get in close so you get an idea the the theme this year is that jack-o-lantern right and the layers are spice pumpkin sweet seduction one more time candy corn themed and then underneath buttercream all right so uh and then the top has uh aluminum the the, the black aluminum lid it doesn't have the jack-o-lantern um but it does have that lid and the Bony Bunch, only the pamphlet is out. There's a pamphlet because a lot of you folks may have gotten the, the I have my catalog over there, the fall catalog. <laughs> Every year I wait for this fall catalog to come out. And I, I got it, actually went to the store to get it when I knew they were getting the, the shipment in the, the that morning. I didn't even trust that it was gonna come 
uh, to my residence. So I got the catalog and usually like the last page of the catalog has a Halloween preview page, not this year. And I was so bummed out, but at the same time, it just adds anticipation and excitement. But there is a pamphlet um, that shows uh, the Bony Bunch. If you haven't seen it, there's uh, one set that has a lineup of uh, famous Bony Bunch characters. And it says, uh, what does it say? The usual, help me out, folks. Uh, it doesn't say the usual suspects, but it says the. What does it say? Unusual? What would it say? It said something kind of like a lineup of like the Bad Bony Bunch, Usual Suspects. I can't, there's a, there's a play on words somewhere and I can't figure it out. So I'm going to do a video on that. I can't wait to get to the Sweet Seduction because I really thought I would have that candle in my possession by now. And hello, is, is that pronounced ghoul in UK? Ghoul? Am I pronouncing that right? Like ghoul, like ghost and goblins ghoul? Um, but I haven't, I, 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 that sweet seduction candle, has, has anyone, anyone found the sweet seduction candle? One place, one place, one place, one, one very reputable uh, person that I work with, that I work with, I've, an acquaintance, I'm making this sound like I'm pulling off like illegal activities. I'm certainly not. UK isn't getting bony bunch swirl or layer so angry. Okay. But at least you know. In here in the US, I mean, this was a shock to me because um, I didn't think we we're getting swirl candles up until about two weeks ago. Now, one thing is I do have to mention, and I almost forgot huge and i hope he hears this huge shout out to brett we haven't officially been acquainted but we have corresponded uh online and he uh is, is essentially who who gave me this big information that i'm about to deliver to you and i needed to confirm it just to make sure but he he sounded like a straight up guy when i was talking to him straight up guy stand-up guy and uh, so I just need to double check on my own and what he was suggesting big news this is big what he was suggesting is true there are ways to get all of these products all of Yankee Candles Halloween products at least most of them today you can get them today if you're in the United States and you're willing to take extreme measures. It's fine, Daphne. How is it in Italy? Uh, if you're willing to take extreme measures here in the United States, there is a way to get uh, the new Halloween products. I'm talking about most of the accessories, like not a witch's hand this year, uh, but we have the skeleton hand, which is brand new for 2017. Look at that ring right there. I'm not kidding, folks. So, I don't know if it's a glitch. I don't think it's a glitch. I think it's just things are all wacky. Similar thing happened last year. Certain pockets of Hallmarks, you heard me correctly, Hallmark, not Bed Bath & Beyond, Hallmarks, uh, received Yankee Candle products probably on time. But, like I said, certain pockets decided to put them out. Now, are they supposed to do that? Well, there's no one to regulate those. There's no rules or laws, regulations. It's really up to the manager's discretion. So after putting in numerous, numerous phone calls, visiting numerous states, states, I found enough, uh, enough proof that uh, uh, Brett out there, high five, uh, he was absolutely correct. There, there. Uh, the trio candles are available a lot of uh, the glass pillar um, um, jar holders are available uh, some new things like uh, the swirl candle is going to be available the sweet seduction is not available it is certainly not available nor is there any words on black magic but so if you really are gung-ho if you are like I am 
I am a Yankee Candle madman. I am a Yankee Candle aficionado. And you have the day off or tomorrow off where you have some way of, you know, skipping out of work early and you make a bunch of phone calls, there is a chance that you'll be able to find these products at certain hallmarks. Um, it's not easy because, like I said, I went to, I would say, about 15, 16 locations. Um, because even though on the phone they said that they don't have it, sometimes they do, and I proved uh, a couple people wrong because I asked them, could you please look in the back when I was there in person? And guess what they found? They found the products in the box. Um, so if you're willing to make a few calls, travel around, you might be able to pick up these new products. Remember, these are not officially released by Yankee Candle until August 26th, which is not really that far away now. But if you, <laughs> the reason why I wanted to, 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 to do this live and get this information out there, I didn't want to have to film a video and cut it in because it's just going to take too long, is because... Um, you know, if you notice, uh, the, the, the Candle Enthusiasts, our channel, my channel, I call it our channel, has an eBay page now where I've listed a lot of the things that I have found for sale uh, for Halloween. And because you can get them at Hallmark now, I wanted to be like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, you know, these candles that I have are going at fair prices, the auctions, and I don't want to scam anybody. If there is, if there's another outlet, if there's another way to get those candles, I wanted to make sure that I was the first one to tell you folks. So please still bid on the auctions if you're interested. It comes with a personalized note, and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll throw in goodies for, from this point on to make it worth your while. Know that all that money is going right back into the show, keeping this show on the road. But uh, there you have it. What do you guys think of this hand? Now I'll actually start looking at the comments. I had to, to get that, that whole speech out. Do we like this better than the witch hand? It seems like uh, the skeleton is big this year with everybody. Oh, Rebecca, I didn't even see that you're here. Hi, how you doing? John, Rachel's here, Ava. Uh, so let's do a little retrospective of this hand. Give me a moment. I'm humming to try to keep your guys' attention. Whoa. All right, hands. Uh, so... Yeah, 2017, 16, 2015, uh, this sold out immediately. Uh, I was at South Deerfield, uh, first one online, about 20 minutes this was gone, and most of the retail outlets, uh, or retail storefronts sold out of it too. But you're probably like, like, wait a minute, no, 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 I have that, I have that, what are you talking about? It sold out. It sold out quick. The following year, this was released. You see the difference, right? Still the witch's hand, but you have a different uh, nail polish and you have the addition of the ring. But that's really not it. If you take a close look, and you're probably not going to be able to pick up these details. Well, you kind of can. Uh, look how much more detailed uh, the 2015 version is. You see in the, the crevices, the creases, of the hand, if you got a really good look up close at these, you'll see how the 15 was much more impressive um, than the two that, like right here, I'm looking at parts of the fingernails that are not even painted. That's fine, that's fine. I'm not I'm not one to criticize, but I'm just saying if, you, if you're ever like on eBay and you're trying to look for one of these, my opinion would be look for the 2015 version. So 2015, 2016, and then 2017, uh, there it is. So no, no witch. We have the skeleton hand. Now I have so many more accessories to show you. So please uh, check out my next upcoming video. I'm going to film it right after this live chat. And uh, I like the witch better too. But what are you gonna do? Uh, skeletons are big this year. Um, I'm gonna film 
not only am I going to film the, my update video, number three, but I'm going to supplement it with footage that I collected at all of the hallmarks that I visited. I did a lot of traveling around. I, Like I said, it was in different states, different weathers. It was pouring, it was sunny, and, uh, and uh, I'll share a lot of that footage of what I found. Werewolf hand last year, or next year. Yeah, that'd be cool. Especially if it had, like, real, uh, not real hair, but you know what I mean. Like, fake faux hair. Da -da -da. Boston Candle Company. What about those folks? You heard of them? Or are you looking for something a little bit more... A little bit more smaller than that. I'm gonna pull up the the video right here, folks. We're gonna go to a half hour. I know I say that all the time, but I mean it today. Because I'm shooting this live. Excuse me. I'm shooting update number three for Halloween. And just so I don't get everyone angry with all of the early Halloween material, I'm doing a summer video today as well. I'm I'm so happy somebody else said which city wick, so I didn't have to say it. But uh. Whoever just said that, thank you so much, uh, because uh, Liz is uh, kind of confirmed through Instagram. I haven't talked to her, but she's she's releasing new, f not only like the, the Halloween fragrances, but new fragrances. I, I don't want to spoil it on you, but if you do visit, you do call, definitely give the candle enthusiast Shane a shout out. She, you know, we're 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 acquaintances, we're good friends, we we're. Acquaintances and good friends are not the same thing. What I mean is uh, we, we do have, hopefully, plans to shoot something this Halloween season. It's really going to be based on her busy schedule. Um, and then, hopefully, we'll have a collaboration at some point with Witch City Wicks. I have to talk Liz into it. I should put my art up on eBay... It's funny when people know who you are, people want to buy your art, but when I tried to sell my art before, eBay would not do anything for me. I would spend two weeks drawing something and get 25 bucks for it. Country Heart Candle from Pennsylvania. Country Heart. No, I, I, I mean, I'm, there's, of course there's always the possibility, but... I don't have that file cabinet in my head. It's not that good where I can store that kind of information. So please, when this video is posted, if you have recommendations, I'm going to be in Pennsylvania. In fact, I'm going to be there very soon. So the more places you can suggest and ask questions uh, down uh, in the comment section, the better. Not like comments here. I'm talking about comments when this video is finally posted. I will certainly look all of these places up. And, um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, and I'm just trying to get this video here up so I can read your comments. If anyone's just joining us and you missed any of the Halloween announcements, just reach out and be like, hey, what's going on with uh, the headline? You said, big updates. I don't want to lose people or anger people because they just got here and I'm not talking about Halloween. Um... Da, 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 da. Okay, so Steve Sweeney, you missed it. Is that you talking about the Halloween stuff? All right, so let's sum this up because I was talking like a madman too. So maybe I didn't make myself clear in the beginning for some of you folks either. I would say since February, I've had my eyes on what Yankee Candle was putting out this year for Halloween. Um... I will mention several f uh, uh, pictures. Uh, you guys probably found them leaked on the internet. Uh, I won't say from where, but Germany, uh, a German website, uh, something leaked that was not really great pictures, but very informative. So I, I, I did a video, I did my own investigation, and a lot more people were interested in Halloween that early in the year. That was back in June, folks maybe even late May, and everyone was so excited about Halloween, and I'm like, what are you guys... I thought like people were going to be angered with me that I'm already talking about Halloween, so I produced a second video, and I've been trying to update you as much as possible. So one thing that I did find out is two 
uh, new candles for this year. This might look like Toxic Tonic for last year, but this is going to be Forbidden Apple and Sweet Seduction. That's not candy corn. That's not Spiced Pumpkin. Sweet Seduction is a brand new candle. It will make its appearance uh, on uh, the Halloween release party date. So I'm going to do a video of just the Sweet Seduction fragrance using the Aroma Prison right after we conclude this live. There is also a layered candle. I don't know how well these sell. I really don't. Um, but if you're into them, or if you just collect them, uh, bingo, right there. Um, so uh, that's gonna be it. So, so let's do a couple questions. Any questions that I did not address? I think I lost a lot of people. We just dropped like 20 people. I don't know if something's going on with the stream or if people just realized, why am I watching this? Yeah, you know, uh, TFER717, I did get that email. I apologize for not responding. Here's the deal, folks. Uh, if you don't know, already know, I'm attempting to do Vlogist right now, which is, you know, if you, just in case you don't know, it's a, it's a video every single day of, of August. And for a lot of folks, that, you know, that's, that might not present a large complication, but if you know my videos, they're heavily edited. They're thought out, um, not my reviews, but my a little bit more in-depth videos where I'm actually trying to make a point, a statement. So for me to get something out every day is very, very hard. And uh, I've what, what this has done, uh, Brett, Brett is with us. Everyone say thank you, Brett, um, because... Uh, if if you're in, if you're interested, you, it's because of Brett that you're going to be able to get these candles almost two weeks, three weeks in advance. High five, Brett. Um, I'm sorry, I just I couldn't uh, give you a shout out. I did give you a shout out in the last live, but I didn't get to really mention the Hallmark thing because I wanted to make sure that it wasn't just that Hallmark that had them. But I have found a couple others that have select items. Uh, what was I gonna say? Holy ground. Uh, Kristen B, do you like, what do you like more? More earthy, alpine, outdoors, trees, green, grassy, garden, or do you like more of uh, pumpkin spice, indoors, smell of the holidays, baking spices, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg? One for outdoors, two for indoors. Tell me what you want, and then I'll... Well, one for outdoors will be holy ground. Two will be pumpkin. Pumpkin Pumpkinhead is the, the most outrageous pumpkin spice candle I've ever, I've ever smelled. I have it right over there. It's insane. It's insane. Uh, people... You should buy both, in my opinion, but... What is the worst candle that I have smelled? thing is I don't want to get I'm trying to think of a way to do this without bad mouthing or getting someone I don't want to make fun of someone's product this is you know a lot of my Yankee candles are here over here I'd show you but we got production we got lights up and stuff I don't want to see the office looking this way and then all of my like other stuff is over here things that you know I found at the most obscure places, candles made from people who, I don't know. Um, on my travels, I tell people I'm into candles and they're very willing to give me stuff that they've made. So some of them are outrageous and some of them are uh, actually pleasant, 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 pleasant surprises. The, the, the Hallmarks do not have Boney Bunch. And it's not to say that they won't, but it seems like they get everything in two big shipments. So if they don't have anything now, they won't until September 1st, let's say that. If they do have stuff now, that's the only stuff that they'll have until September 1st. But they don't have Boney Bunch. I think that's simply because it's just it's two different things, you know, Boney Bunch and Yankee Candle 
fragrances products to different entities. So I don't think, I mean, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Kristen likes, okay, so Kristen likes, go, go holy ground. I'm telling you that to me, that's more, much more my style. They're, uh, the holy ground is, um, I mean, if you want to see my true reaction to it, the first time I ever smelled it, it's on video. There's an interview with me and Liz. It was just this cell phone. It was the two of us in the cemetery where she got the inspiration. It's the Salem Cemetery. Go in my back catalog last uh, October. Watch that video uh, of me and Liz having like a chit chat. What coffee am I drinking? This is going to be a local coffee this time. And I'm trying to think of the producer's name. Shout out to the producer's name. Uh, okay, so they're out of Wappinger Falls. So if you type in Wappinger Falls Roaster, Wapp Wappinger's Falls Roaster, New York, I'm sure it'll pop up. Uh, brewing method was um, French press. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. Does UK get Spice Pumpkin and when? Yeah, the, the, I, right? They have to. Spice Pumpkin is one of the oldest, most classic fragrances by Yankee Candle. It's been around, was it 1986? This made its appearance. Do I like pumpkin ales around this time of the year? Yeah, but it, it's more out of like, tradition, right? It's like eggnog. How, mu how many of us truly like eggnog? Maybe some of us do. But during Christmas, you gotta have, you gotta have eggnog, right? So it's one of those things. Um, I'm very, very... What's the word? What's the word? I, I, I'm very... I don't do anything flavored. I don't do, I don't put anything in my coffee. Um... I, I like I, I like full expressions of what something is supposed to be. Not to say that I condemn everything else, but pumpkin ale. Yeah, it, it's fun, but I, I I'd rather just experiment, try more um, stuff from certain producers that are are that are made a little bit more with passion, except for the novelty. Not to say pumpkin ales are novelty. I don't know if I can answer that question. Do I dress up for Halloween? I don't. I don't. That is one of the biggest surprises from people who get to know me. They're like, you love Halloween so much, yet you never get dressed up. I love seeing people get dressed up, but I just don't do it. Um, ever since I was seven, eight years old, that's when I stopped trick-or-treating because I, I start, my brother and I, we, we had our own haunted house. It started out in our garage in the house that we grew up in. And by the time we were teenagers, it had become so popular that the town actually rented out, rented out a facility, a building for us to make uh, a haunted house for our tiny little hometown. And uh, we were just teenagers with, we went to the drama school in uh, our local high school and we're like, you guys want to act in a haunted house? We had, I mean, it wasn't like booze and dark hallways. They were scenes. It was so much fun. What I usually do is put on my corduroys and my, my Freddy Krueger sweater. That's usually what I do. I just don't dress up. I'll dress up for you guys, maybe. But I just, I, I'd much rather uh, be in an, an environment where I can see families and kids having a good time. Plus, there were years in college where I worked in this four-story club, and it it's like, the entertainment channel, the E channel. Is the E channel still around? I don't watch cable. Uh, they voted it the, the hottest place to be on Halloween night at this club. So there was just a lot of havoc when I would work those things. And man, if there's anything that takes the spirit out of Halloween, it's seeing uh, a bunch of um, crazy people drinking way too much, kind of losing the concept of the holiday. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yes. In my opinion, if you dress up for Halloween, it should be Halloween related, except for what do I ex 
uh, the fairy princess. The fairy princess works. I'm old school like that, though. I just, you know, if, like, kid's gonna dress up, you gotta be scary. You can be fairy princess. You can be mystical. You can be mysterious. Got married on Halloween. Very cool. That's, that's dedication right there. All right, we, we're up past 30 minutes. Let's take a few more questions, and then I have to get to work. Uh, I am, keep your eyes open. I'm gonna try to film it, get it edited by late tonight, if not tomorrow morning, a new Halloween update video, plus a summer bath and body works video, if you can believe that. There's a twist. Plus I have other Yankee Candle um, material to be posted. Do the swirl candles come out one at a time as you burn through? So the two, there's two different, there's a swirl and then there's the layers. This you will get a mixture, uh, for sure. Although I don't have that much experience burning these. I can see how these could potentially become a problem for some people uh, keeping an even burn when you have two different fragrances. But the layer candles, no, You're, you get one fragrance at a time until you move on to that next layer. Your candle delivery just arrived. All right, get it out of the sun. Yes, uh, Ava, uh, the, the ongoing joke is I'm doing a Christmas in July video probably in mid-August or late August now, because it really is mid-August. Uh, I, I, I know the fragrances, but that to me, that's not good enough. I want to get the fragrances and smell them and, and show them to you. I don't want to just show you pictures. So, you know, with a little bit of investigation, I think you could probably find out what's coming out this year. Usually they put out a first wave of Christmas candles. Like last year, it was all of like the alcoholic beverage cocktail libation collection. Um, like all is bright and Christmas time and bubbly pomegranate. And then they put out the cookie swap collection. So there's usually two waves of uh, Christmas fragrances. So the first wave, excuse me, was announced a while ago. Second collection, no word, no word. I do custom uh, mix m my own blends. I don't put anything in the same vessel, but like, um, you know, when I had a much bigger house, I would burn things in different places. So as you moved around, especially when you have guests, when you move around, the fragrances would change a little bit. And I think there's never a better time to do something like that than on Halloween or Christmas. But yeah, if I if there's two fragrances, like say right here, uh, this is buttercream. Um, you could just burn buttercream, but it's really fun to try something like buttercream with something really obscure. Like think of something that you would never think of, like eucalyptus. Try burning buttercream and eucalyptus and then report back to me and see how that is. Because it's always fun to, to play mixologist in, in your head. When do I start burning my Halloween candles? I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait until, it's usually the second week in September that I start officially celebrating Halloween. Uh, this channel is the exception because I am, as you can see, I'm still here. I'm still here, but the channel, the channel is, is here. <laughs> These little pumpkin, those pumpkin LEDs are so hard to untangle. Yeah, the, the fruit scents are really nice to mix. Um, I have, uh, I did that recently. I did, uh, I don't know if it was Juicy Peach, but it was something along those lines. Um, and uh, a citrus candle, dang, dang. Can't remember the name of it. Just got my two, blah, blah, blah. All right. Where do I get my video backgrounds from? It's a, it's a, lot, of, a lot of folks ask me that, so, um, I do this all of the time, um, and you know, just for myself at home, I have 
these backgrounds. This started when I was out in California and we had no change of weather. Um, so I, I put on like the virtual fireplaces on YouTube. I can't use those. There's endless amounts of stuff like this on YouTube. I can't use those because of uh, YouTube's uh, terms of, you know, of, of copyright infringement and stuff like that. So all of this stuff, I have to pay a small licensing fee and I can use it. It's very small. Um, but this is actually an application, an application that you can get. And if you have an Apple TV, these, these are equivalent to royalty free. Vindora, V-I-N-D-O-R-A premium. I think you pay like five bucks and you get an endless loop of like five, six different backgrounds. But it's, this is, I mean, this is pretty good. I, I like really high definition, like almost 4K backgrounds. More than two of us. Favorite Halloween candy, candy corn. It's gonna be part of the video coming up. Remember this, 2015? Well, these are also from 2015, and I'm gonna be eating them today. As gross as that sounds, it's all for the content for you guys. What do I do for fun besides filming channel? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a, what do you call it? A jack of all trades, but master of nothing. And it's funny because master of nothing was the name of a a script and a pilot that was filmed. Um, I won't say by who, but it was just a, a, a television show pilot. And it's funny, it was a disaster. But now, what's his name? Aziz Ansari's got a show, Masters of Master of Nothing. It's just funny that it has the same name. So apparently, his show worked out. Mine did not. Ba 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 ba. All right. All right, guys. Um, let's see if we can come up with a question of the day. And then I'm going to sign out and get to work. Do you guys see my cookie jar? Up there? See them? <laughs> All right. Awesome, guys. Just in case you missed it in the very beginning, I'm just going to run through everything real quick that we talked about. Uh, and if you want to sign out now, thank you. But please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed uh, hanging out today. Getting those thumbs ups, all this view time really helps this channel out. It's getting a lot of people to find us. The bigger the crowd, the better. So hit that thumbs up. It really, really helps all of us out in the, uh, in the end. Subbing up with this video is I am about to prepare to shoot a video on uh, how to get Yankee Candle products a little bit early and also introduce you to a few new products that are new to me, uh, including a swirl candle of sweet seduction and forbidden apple and a layered fragrance with spiced pumpkin, sweet seduction and butter cream. And uh, I'll try to have that video out ASAP. And um, I got something for you guys. I got something for you guys. Here's a question. I need your help. I need your help. This is good. This is good. I'm glad I thought about this. Um, one of the big surprises, one of the, the more in-depth, a little bit more production value video that I was going to produce, uh, it was going to be filmed in September, but it was I was going to use it I was gonna post it in October, because I know it's gonna take a long time to edit. And I wanna make it cinematic and a little, have more of a documentary feel. It was going to be uh, 
I, I searched for a haunted house, a legitimate haunted house, where there's several sightings or several incidences where people have claimed that they've seen spooks and ghosts, goblins, whatever it may be. Uh, I, I, I thought it would be fun to see me spend the night in the house. So I went on a wild search to find like an abandoned house that I could get permission to spend the night in or someone's haunted house, something. And something I thought was gonna be really easy to find actually turned out to be incredibly hard. I mean, of course, you're dealing with insurance issues, but there's always a ways around that. Um, but then you're dealing with location issues. I mean, there's houses, but I wanted to, you know, aesthetically look creepy too. I don't want it to be like on a main highway. So I found a place and I talked to the owner. It all worked out. Everything was good. I was going to spend the night. And the whole concept of the video is, you know, how you're, um, when you're frightened, your, your, your senses are heightened, right? Your senses are heightened. So I wanted to see if I could scare myself, spend the night in a haunted house, document the experience, maybe even do a live in the middle of the night to see if um, uh, I could detect fragrances any differently than when I was perfectly calm. So I would do kind of like a Mythbusters kind of thing where you would have uh, you know, me smelling before and then the, 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 night of, the night of, and really seeing what happens in this house. If anything spooky happens in this house, if I really get creeped out, get all of this documented. But the owner of the house um, has vanished, literally vanished. Uh, email, gone, phone number, uh, no phone, uh, no one's getting back to me. Uh, and, you know, I'm used to this stuff. You know, when you work in the film industry, a lot of locations fall through. People just bluff. They think they're going to get maybe possibly exposure or money, and then they have a, a change of heart at the last minute. So if anyone out there knows, somewhere in the Northeast, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, anywhere, because that's where I'm going to be in September, doing a lot of my already scheduled programming. If anyone knows of a house that actually is said to be haunted and actually could possibly get me, point me in the direction of getting, um, you know, releases signed for me to actually spend there, do everything legally. There, if you, if you have a house that maybe, you know, somebody owns and it's abandoned or no one's currently living in it, um, and it has a creepy story. Yeah, I would love to do the Amityville Horror House, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I looked into something else, um, execu uh, Google Execution Rock later on, and uh, Execution Rock Lighthouse. I looked into that. That's not gonna happen this year, maybe next year. Um, but this is um, something that I need to do next month, and I was very excited about it, but uh, like I said, the uh, kind of fell through. So that's a little research for you guys. As I may have vanished, like the owner, right? I know that it's a, it's a little creepy. That's gonna be it for me, guys. Uh, ch make sure you check out my update Yankee Candle video very soon. Uh, hopefully tonight, if not tomorrow, I have a summer video, Bed Bath and Beyond. I just said Bed, ba Bed Bath and Beyond, and I totally meant to say Bath and Body Works. Oh my God, oops. Uh, I have a video, and then I have more autumn uh, Yankee Candle stuff coming up too. Thanks for joining me today, folks. Always a pleasure, and I will see you very soon. Uh, all your suggestions, please, in the comments below. The Horror Hotel sounds awesome. Is that, uh, I think I might know what you mean by that one. Have a good one, guys.